Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the USB drive too slow error uh, that's been popping up on V10 for your Model 3. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, so ever since V10 uh, was released, I've noticed a lot of people saying, hey, my USB drive is now saying it's too slow and it's coming with an error, like it's not, the, the USB drive isn't fast enough write speed wise to handle the dash cam in sentry mode. So I found a little trick to make this work. Uh, and I did this trick and I hadn't had that the, uh, the error come up ever since I've done this trick and I was having it come up probably about once a week. So what you need to do is, and I have, just to know, I have like a SanDisk Cruiser 32 gig drive. It's like a really cheap, crappy uh, drive. So if this works on mine, then it should work on yours too. Because um, I'm, you know, there's lots of them that are way faster and everything than mine. Because mine was a whole seven dollars. So I know that, like the uh, <clears throat> the SanDisk SanDisk iExpand, that drive is a really popular one because you can pop it right into your your phone and it's a lot faster and more expensive anyways so uh, here's my USB drive so the trick that I did is if you reformat it so yeah you know right click it so I have a PC so sorry if you have a Mac hopefully it's similar um, so go on to your USB drive right click do format and so what I noticed is if you the allocation unit size I had it at 16 before and it was giving me the error. So what I ended up doing was I made it the max it can go to 64 kilobytes. And so that has worked pretty well for me where basically I haven't had any issues with it giving me this write speed error uh, ever since I uh, changed this. So of course, make sure it's FAT32. And as you can see, 32 gigs. It's just gonna do a quick format. So I'm just gonna start it. Yep, that's fine. It's gonna erase everything. Okay, format complete. So. Do that, get back in here, do new folder, Tesla cam, and there we go. So now once I put it back in, it should be good. And so like I said, this is the key here, 64 kilobytes. So make sure that you make it as high as you can on the allocation unit size, and that should really help with the write speeds. Um, what you can also do too is a lot of people, so this is one way, the USB actual flash drive, but from what I've read, it's not the best way to save your Sentry in dash mode. Well, it's it's fine it's fine to save it, but as you rewrite and rewrite and rewrite over the <clears throat> the existing data, these little flash drives, little thumb drives, get worn out really quick, and so they're not really made to handle this type of usage. So the a better if you want to spend more money, a better way to do this would be would be to get a micro SD card. And just make sure you get a, a reader adapter um, that, you know, can handle it. Um, so that way the micro SD cards are a lot better and they can handle this rewriting a lot better. So I'll link you guys in the description of that. Um, and like I said before, the Sandus iExpand drive is a really popular one because, uh, you know, say you get an accident or something, you need to show the police that are right there. You can just pop it right into your phone and say, hey, here's the dash cam footage, you know, where do you want me to send it or whatever. And you don't have to go home and do that. So it's just a really nice, really nice piece for on the go. And then, you know, like I said, I have a crappy cruiser drive, but it works fine for me. So, you know, I don't really need to spend more money. I spent like $7 on this drive and it's been working fine. So that's what I'm going with. Um, you know, there's tons of options out there. So pick whichever one you think works best for you. Um, and, you know, use my little trick here and hopefully you won't get that, that drive too slow error uh, anymore with V10. So that's basically it for this video. Um, hope you found it helpful. Let me know if that this little trick works for you. I'm hoping it does because it has worked for me. If you thought the video was helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.